All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the next build series video for the CR125. Um, I just got some of the parts in. We got the two bearings that I was waiting on. That way we can put together the rest of the engine. So we should be able to button up the engine, get it put into the frame, and uh, get some of that done and carry on with this thing. So if I turn it around, the only thing that I was waiting on was obviously this one bearing. So we're gonna close this up, finish this off today, put that other seal in before I forget. So let's get on with that. But I got a couple other orders I'm still waiting to come in. We got just miscellaneous little filter for it, the fork guards, the red fork guards I was waiting on, spark plugs, chain guide, pit bike parts, chain, tubes, nothing too fancy. But if you're new and you wanna see the CR125 take shape and finished, make sure you're subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up if you're pumped to see how this thing turns out finally finished all cleaned up along with if you don't follow the instagram page for the build it's just at project two strokes i'll put it on the screen that's where i post everything on instagram before the vlogs come out i'm um, kind of step by step what i'm doing so and uh i'll quit talking and uh we'll start putting this thing back together i want to bring you a different angle kind of my point of view so we got the gopro going change it up a little bit why not so i'm gonna heat this case up a little bit then i will drop this bearing in there this bearing is for the cylinder on this bearing right in here so got the new bearing right here um, they've been in the freezer and then we'll heat this up a little bit with the heat gun I'll get the flat so we can evenly put this bearing in there it would just slip in and heat it up long enough the initial time but uh, all the other bearings I know I saw some questions I had them all in the freezer I obviously heated them up heated the cases up and then they just dropped right in yeah I could have put them in like a toaster oven but this works too after heating it up for probably another 30 seconds or so as you can see the bearing just fell right in there this side's good uh, I'll let this side cool down for a minute while I uh, go back and fix some of this here because what happened was I forgot to put in a little spring on the kickstart gear. I forgot to put this little spring behind there, so we'll just pop this off quick. Good thing I remembered before. Um, we got this whole cover on, so let's pop this out quick and put that spring in. There's a little mark on here, and then there's a little mark on this other connecting gear or whatever you want to call it, so you gotta make sure they're lined up straight which they are, and I'll take the spring, and then I'll just put it into place like it was before. Not too hard. I'll wrap this spring back around, make sure it's in place. Boom, we're good. Then I'll get this uh, seal put into place here. All right, looks like we got that seal in evenly. I know in the K-axis you have to do it before, and then I guess in the, obviously in the CRs you can do it afterwards, but makes it a little bit easier. You don't even really need anything to put this in, to be honest, doing it by hand, just make sure it's Kind of even around the edge, which we are. Then we'll get the crank from the original crank. And I'll take this off, get the spacer and put it in there. Which is right here. This thing's junk. Spread it on the spacer. Just slip right over like so, and uh, we're good to go right there. Should be uh, same on both sides, doesn't matter which way it goes. Slide that into place. I'm gonna tighten this down after the fact, so I can tighten it in here for right now. Then we'll come back to that after. We'll get this next gear put on, put the washer first, boom. And then the gear on following. All right, then I'll put this other um, spacer on here. I already lubed all that up, this other needle bearing for the clutch. And then um, obviously the whole clutch basket right here, which will then Actually looking at this, I'm gonna clean this up first. There's a little bit of dirt and residue in here, so I'll get these all wiped off. All right, we got that thing way cleaner than what it was. Thing's way better now, way cleaner. Much more happy with that. Drop this into place, line everything up. There we go. Pop this into place. Don't forget that washer. And then once I've got it torqued, I'm just gonna bend up these little, uh, this washer, this locking washer up, just in the event that this nut comes loose. All right, we got both of those bent up. You can see it, maybe I'll zoom the GoPro in if it doesn't catch on it. 
but now we're good there. Um, the clutch, I didn't actually have soaking um, and oil, so I'm not gonna put the clutch in until I let that soak overnight. So for the time being, I'm still gonna put it together and then I'll pop the clutch in um, after the fact, it doesn't really matter. So this is all done right here. Um, it should be ready to go to now. Actually, I gotta put these seals in this cover first to uh, pop this on there. We should be good. Get this down, I already put Loctite on there. Um, I'm just putting a towel on there. That's the way I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't have a holder. So um, that's the way it's gonna have to go. I'm gonna put it to 47 right there. Good. And I already kind of snugged it a little bit with the impact. And we'll make sure, oh, make sure it's good with this. Boom. That's how they're bearing in. All the seals in, seals, seals. And uh, we should be good just to put this gasket on here. And I'll get this thing put on. So this is good, good, good. Looks like good all around. Did a double over, double check. And uh, put these in here, however, which way you want to do it. Like so. Lock that in there. We'll get this one. Pop it in here. Pop this in here. Just snug this down for now. Should be good by the looks of it. Move this gasket around a little bit so it's not sticking out as much on the top. Find them. All right, it should all be in place. Boom, 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 all around. And then the water pump ones are different. So we'll uh, just snug these down. Get them all snugged around and then evenly tighten them down. Right, now I got the new water pump gasket. Make sure we don't forget these little pins. That tightened down, use the impact. Didn't really see a need for me to record that. So now we can put this on there. Be good to go to button this up. I got a new screw for that too, which is. All right, got that bearing in. Light little tapping, it's good to go. Still hot, sit it over there, let that cool down for a minute. In here, we'll go grab some pre-mix to uh, lube all this up. Looks like this gasket's too big. Well, actually, it on there right or maybe I'm putting this on wrong but I don't think I am looks like uh, these holes don't even line up at all yeah because if you look here on the cylinder there's no way sure these back holes line up as you can see but any orientation these holes wouldn't line up so they don't line up on the top here if you can see that right there so obviously this gasket's not gonna work I'm not sure why it was in the kit looks like I'll have to order an OEM one tonight and I'll get it in hopefully by the end of the week. Always something, you know? It's always something. And it looks like the reed cage gasket won't fit either, so need another one of those too because the spacings, it's like way bigger than what it's supposed to be. So have to order one of those up tonight too. Let's get this hose in, we'll see if it will fit in here. I don't know, this thing looks way bigger than what that hole is supposed to be made. Actually guys, it fit in there. I did not think that was gonna fit. This is for a 2001, so Maybe it was a little bit off, but we got it to fit in there. There was no way I was getting that in without a little help from a flathead. But I guess I'll temporarily put this cover on too before I put it in the frame. Quick little look on what it's gonna look like. That way it's in there done, and then all I gotta do is put the top end in once I get the two gaskets in. I don't know why these didn't fit though. It was a kit for the O2, but I guess we'll just get some OEM ones now.
as you just saw, I got the motor and I can't really do anything else until they have those gaskets. I just placed an order for those. Hopefully they'll be in within the next few days, but um, just tying everything together, I figured I may as well throw it in, um, do something. Yeah, leave a comment down below what you think, but uh, looks pretty sweet. Pretty much gonna wrap it up until I get the rest of the parts in. But this thing is so clean. I'm so happy with it. But like I've said, if you're not following the Instagram account where I post all the pictures, you would have already seen this. It's just at Project Two Strokes, give it a follow. And I uh, will cap this video out. With that, make sure you're subscribed, give the video a thumbs up, and off of that, I'll see you guys in the next video.